Hey guys, welcome to Shojip Teach Reels. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create minimap in Unreal Engine 4. So I'm going to create a blueprint star person. It could be blank, not blank. I mean, either first person or third person project. All right, I'm going to name it whatever you want. Minimap project. Um, then I'm going to create it. This minimap is based on the instructions you will find in the wiki page of unrealengine.com. I will put the link in the description. You could go check it out. But you know, I decided to make a video. I thought like it might be easier for some some of the people out there. All right. So first thing you want to do, you want to go to your blueprints. Right click, go to um, blueprint class, and then you're gonna select click here all classes and type in scene capture 2d and then select and we're going to name it mini cam all right based on the instruction mini cam open the mini cam component blueprint go to capture component 2d click on capture component 2d under the details window you will see the transform rotation change the rotation y to minus 90 then go to your event graph right so what are we going to do we're going to delete all this we're going to right click get player pawn all right this is the player then we're going to drag this and get actor location actor location We're going to break the the return value of the get actor location right click split struct pin into x y and z and then i'm going to right click here and set actor location right here okay i'm going to apply the x well let's break this as well the new location right click and split apply the x y you know what we're just going to copy this click select get actor location copy and paste yeah i'm going to use the z of this i'm going to right click add custom event and name it outside tick okay and just connect this now what we're going to do is we're going to compile and save compile and save we're going to close this mini cam so right click here and we're going to go to user interface widget blueprint and we're going to name it mini map widget now open your mini map widget go to the palette panel here now we can go to under common right on the common category we have image and we're going to drop it and put it on here so we're going to scale it and we're going to put it on the right side instead of putting in the instruction it says put it here i'm going to put it here because it i think it looks better um go to anchors and click on this right top corner all right that way no matter how you how big your screen is is always going to be on the right top corner now we're going to compile and save close this we're going to right click here go to material and textures and pick render target and we're going to name it map rendering so i'm going to open the map rendering this is what you see go to the detail panel i'm using 4.19 so in 4.19 there's no compression type setting that was mentioned in the wiki page if you are using the earlier version like maybe i don't know if 4.18 has it or the earlier change the texture group to ui all right this is the only setting you have to do if you see compression settings then set it to tc user interface 2d okay so you will see that in the wiki page now i'm going to save this and close it and this is the tricky part so we're going to take the mini cam and we have to drag it on top of our player right so if you're in the third person cam so what you can do is you can go to um 
go to perspective go to switch is the viewpoint to left view so i'm seeing okay so i'm guessing this is the player right so i'm going to place it on top of this player very good right there okay on top of this player and i'm going to switch from left to right to see if i get the right angle okay um All right now i'm gonna so you can go from back and forth with left and right now also there's another interesting view is that front and back there you can see that i the wrong element so bring that to here let's check out how the back looks back looks fine all right so i think this is good so go to your minimap Go to your viewport and on the right side in the details window you scroll down and find screen capture and you will see texture target um so you're going to choose the map, map rendering that we created earlier okay I compile and save close this so we're going to right click on the map rendering and we're going to create a material we're gonna name it mini map. We're gonna name it mat mini map mat underscore mini map. So open your new material. You just drag this, and we're gonna assign this to emission color. Compile and save. That's pretty much it. Actually, that's only save for this. Let's save it, and then close this. Close the material for third person. If you're in third person character or or first person character. You're gonna have the third person character in blueprint blueprints folder. You're gonna double click it, and in the event grab, we're gonna do some stuff. Uh, so we're gonna see if we don't have the event tick. So we're gonna bring in the event tick. Right click event tick. Okay, we're gonna write some code for the event tick. We're gonna do get all actors of class. We're going to select the actor class, which is the mini cam. Type in mini cam. Then we're going to write a for loop for each loop. For each loop. And then we're going to loop body is going to be outside tick. And the array element is going to, going to be the target. So that goes for the event tick. And we're going to bring in event begin play. We're going to create the widget. Create widget. And we're going to select the class as the minimap widget. And then we're going to add the widget to the viewport add to viewport and set the target and we're going to get the player controller and assign this to the get player controller uh, you can put him outside of your comment like this um, so I don't know how you want to put this though. So in here you can say like select your uh, events and then press C. You can say minimap, right? The reason I put this outside is because you can reuse it. Okay. But that goes for the minimap. Let's compile and save and close this. We're going to open minimap widget again and make sure your uh, map is assign to the right top corner if not to the bottom right corner so you will see this um, these icons here so we're going to expand under appearance we're going to expand brush we're going to change the image 
to the material image that we created so you can type in mat underscore mini there you go mat underscore mini map that we created the material so under primitive throw a not circle thrower select and put it on the screen then we're going to make it uh, let's change the tint the color of this where you see the tint appearance image tint under appearance image tint we're going to pick a color and and we're going to resize it until the uh, let's increase the image size to 34 okay now place this dot on top of your map mini map i'm going to change this z order to one set this anchor to top right as well so if you have this so it says that this material does not use the ui material domain change the material domain okay if, if you see that select on that and compile and save okay there you go okay so what do you want to do number of pieces three right let's change it to one and then we're going to click on size to content and then it's going to be right okay compile save so we did that to the thrower um and then we're going to minimize it um and let's play all right so we see the map and there's a dot uh, the reason I said like you might have to adjust it because see that you could see the player right but you see the um, the blinking dot is not on top of the player so we want to see this so we have to move a little to the bottom and to the left let's do that uh, we also want to change the color let me let me let's set it to blue like this kind of blue and we want to set a little lower down save compile save and play i think we got it yeah there you go see that that's accurate that's very accurate i hope you guys found it useful don't forget to press the thumbs up button if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe until next time goodbye